Sandra, where are you going to? I want to go spend the night at Kelvin's place. I believe that will help me at this moment. Are you sure you can drive yourself in this condition? Oh, these boys have all gone home. Then I'll take a taxi. Okay, better. Remember I told you, don't call anybody, don't tell anybody. Even Kelvin? You can tell Kelvin. In fact, let me have your phones. I will, let me keep them for you this night. Thanks, Dad. As if you know, I don't need them now. I'm having serious headache. Dad, let me go. I'll see you in the morning. Thank you. Good night. Take care of you. What are you doing here? What are you doing in my house? Don't you bother me. Answer my questions now. I've come back to stay with you people. Oh, you're back to stay? Yes, sir. Okay. My house has now become a challenge where you walk in and out at will. No, no, brother. Be. Thank you, stars. You know what I would, I would have done to you. That's why you came at this time of the night. But I'll give you this night as grace. Tomorrow morning, you are going back to the village. That village that you, 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 you see as a fortress. You are going back to that village tomorrow morning. Don't baby me. Because I don't know if you're going to give this girl a hand. Don't baby me again. Sorry. Brother, please now. Don't worry about that. He has always wanted you to come back and stay with us. He's just pretending like you sure. Yes. Let's go inside. How, How was your trip? So, maybe the first time I saw you at Tobina's place, I said, wow, it's so naturally and down. <laughs> yeah. I noticed it. Yeah? I saw your eyes rolling all over me. <laughs> <laughs> I said to myself, what's wrong with this guy? Is yeah. he forgetting I'm his friend's girl? So, I said something to myself. I'll go to any length to have this babe. Yeah? yeah. Uche, yeah? don't tell me you're behind your friend's misfortune just to have No, me. but it's something I promised myself. And I must have this babe. So, so we be <laughs> her nerdy. <laughs> hey, bad boy. No, 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 no. Abby! Anita! What are you doing here? I, I'm sorry, I, 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 I had an emergency, so I had to leave the village. My, my life was at stake. But you should have called me before coming. I know. I could have called you, but I lost my phone. I lost so contact. Moreover, I didn't think it would be an issue, me coming into the same house. Obina, we are not spending a night here. Yeah. Leave. Okay. I said you are not spending a night here. Leave. Now I have seen the kind of friend you are. With her already on your bed and living with you less than three months I left here. Obi, go back where I'm coming from, please. Will you please? Please, please, go back where Obi, there's no way. Come on, baby, relax. Hey! Why did you do this? Don't worry, relax. Where do I go from here? Uche. 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 Anyway. I have made up my mind to survive, and I must survive. Ah, now that. Ah, madam. Good evening. Good morning. Madam, this one your face though. Who said person will die? It's your boss. Sir. 
Yes, Mongad inside. This one should not even carry her car home. Abi, the robbers don't collect her motor. Who knows? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, my mind did not get to that place. So when you told me, yes. It then dawned on me how rich I would become if he finally died without a son. Of course now, so no adopted son will take my inheritance. Of course, it's not See, let me tell you something, my brother. Even if they decide to adopt another son, what happened to this one will happen to that same one they will adopt. Let it be the first, second, third, they will keep dying until they are tired that they will concentrate on us. <laughs> it's not a problem, it's not a problem. See. Hello? Please hold on. that? Come here. Who was that? Oga. Who was that? Oga na madam. Which of the madam? Auntie Sandra. Sandra? Yes, Oga. How come? She came in and I didn't hear the sound of a car? Oga, she no carry her car at home. I want to drop her outside. No wonder he was bent on you leaving his house, so he will be free to be bringing in that girl. They have been seeing each other behind my back. Oh, this is crazy. Uchi, how could you betray a friend just like that because of a girl? I'm not even bothered about Anita. I never loved her, honestly. I just used her to get back at you when you and I had issues, and it worked. But not to worry, this has only taught me a lesson that I trusted the wrong person almost all my life. So, what are you going to do now? Like, you can't sleep in my brother's house. I know. I, I'll just look for a hotel and pass the night, then tomorrow morning I'll sort myself out. Are you sure you'll be fine? Yes, I... <laughs> Is that not Sandra? Come, Sandra! Who is she? Chifike's daughter now. The, the billionaire. Our own Chifike? Yes. The wittiest man in our village? Yes. Like, what she's in trouble. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go find out what's yes, wrong with her. Sandra! Sandra! Are you okay? Who are you? I, I, I'm Obina. My name is Obina. This is Inenna. We are both from Umoke. We are your brethren. Yes. I just want to die. I just want to kill myself. What is wrong? What, what is happening? Where is your car? Oh, I've been trying. I didn't come out here. Okay, I'll, I'll get a taxi and take you home to your father. I know your house. I can't go home in this state. I don't want my father to see me like this. I will just stand in my house. Okay, okay, okay. okay. In, 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 it's okay. In that case, I'll get a hotel. I'll go get a taxi and take you to a hotel. Then tomorrow morning, I'll take you to your house, okay? Hotel. Yes. Nina, please take care of her. Let me get a taxi. All right. All right. Sorry. <laughs> to me. 
When I heard about the death of your only brother, I felt very sad. How could that happen? Everybody in Umuke wept bitterly. My father couldn't get over the effect of my brother's death. That was why I suggested adoption. That was how Josh came into our lives. Things got better. Yes. And again he dies. Jesus. How do I begin to tell my father that his prospective son-in-law murdered his son? just to inherit his wealth. Huh? What? My father needed his son in law. He needed grandchildren, at least to help suit his emotions. That was why when I announced my engagement to Kelvin, there was a huge celebration in our house. The whole family was happy. At last, I am getting married. At last, I am going to give my father his grandchildren, kids, to at least make him feel happy. Now the man I am engaged to murders my younger brother, all in his quest to inherit wealth he knew nothing about. Tell me, how do I begin to tell my father that the man I am going to marry is a murderer? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my whole world is crumbling. My whole world is crumbling. I don't even know how to start. I don't even... It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. I... I believe when I tell you my own story, you understand that we all have... Our individual baggages, whether rich or poor. <laughs> Take that and be consoled. I. I it's okay. Was labeled a bastard. I never knew my mom. I don't even know my dad. Never met him. Only my mom knew my dad. And she never divulged his identity to anybody till she died. My grandfather's family want to eliminate me by all means. They see me as a stranger who has come to live with them. So they do everything possible to eliminate me. I am not having a happy life. Everything that house is agonizing. I only took Consolation in the fact that my grandfather loves me. It's better for me to live in hell than continue staying there. So I decided to come back to the city and get in here. My best friend will not receive me in his house because he had taken over my girlfriend. So he threw me out. I, 
didn't know what to do. I, I was stranded, I was confused, I was, I was devastated. I was just wondering how to go back to the village after spending a night in this hotel before I saw you. Oh my God. I mean, your story is more pathetic than mine. Everyone has a story to tell. I wish I can adopt you. I mean, I wish I can call you my brother. Since they've rejected you. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride on them. But I'm glad I'm able to bring down your spirit this night. Thank you very much. You are an angel. You're welcome. Don't worry, I've found a friend in you, and I will never lose you. I'm glad our paths crossed. <laughs> Me too. Thank you. Chai, etchi etika, etchi dime. Henceforth, all is well. Okay. Amen. So. I've lost everything. I have lost everything. See, I, I, love, I love this girl so much. I love her so much. I need to apologize to her. I need to talk to her. Kevin, are you planning on going back to that house? Listen, I need to see Sandra. She must be in an emotional mess right now, so speak. I have to explain to her that I wasn't like this when we started. I wasn't like this. Everything was based on love until you happened. You have lost everything. And you want to lose your life too. How? You just committed murder. And if Ike is a figure in this country, just one call from him, you are finished. She'll be thinking of going to Ghana, flying to Ghana. Stop staying here before you know it. If Ike's troop will just invade this house. Oh my God. And you'll be arrested. You know, I can't I can't just I can't stand this. I don't want to be arrested in this scene. It's okay. It's all right. Oh God. What am I going to do now? What do I do? I have to put myself together. What do I do? Okay. First, I have to go in there, get my stuffs, and leave this place. Yes. I have to go on inside. At least for now, I'll say everything gets fine. Oh my God. Oh, man in ship clothing. There's a man beyond the man. Dad. Good afternoon, Chief. Dad, you're still grieved. No. If I could get over the death of my own biological son, who has grown into a man, why wouldn't I get over that of a baby? Just that I'm still thinking of so many other things. By the way, who is this young man with you here? Dad, I don't know where to start. Start what? Dad, do you know Kelvin has been fit all along? He never loved me. He was actually after your wealth. I don't 
don't believe this. Dad, Kelvin killed Josh. What? I bumped into him on a discussion. He was telling whoever was on the other side of the phone how he has perfected his plans that even if you adopt another child that he's going to kill him. This cannot be true. Dad, you know I can never lie to you. I know what I heard. I heard it all. In fact, I ran out of the house. I was so devastated. I was so mad. I was so frustrated. I just ran out. I was just running. I don't know where. I just wanted to kill myself. I wanted to commit suicide that night. If not for Obi here, who saw me and recognized me. He saved me yesterday night. That idiot must be brought to book now. to that place. Get him to this place right away. Bundle him to this place. Do you hear me? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Move immediately. I would like yes, you to meet Obina. Meet who? Which Obina? The, the guy I came back with. How can you bring in a total stranger to my house? That Obina is not a stranger. He's actually a nice guy. Um, DPO. Yes, it's Chief. I sent some of your men to my house right away. I want them to pick up an idiot. Yes, yes. Yes. Please, immediately. I'll be waiting. Thank you so much. Daddy, please, you have to meet Obina. Sandra, please. leave this place. Daddy. Ow! Seems your father doesn't like me. Oh, no, 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 that's not true. He, he's a very simple man. You know what I just told him? Had him walked up. I believe when he comes down, he will come and see you. Okay? Okay, I, I have to be on my way then. To where? I want to go home. Which home? Please sit down. Sit down, let me get you something to eat. Okay, let me get you something from the kitchen. Don't go anywhere. And where is the bandit? Sir, we searched everywhere. We couldn't find him. How? Yes, sir. We went to his compound. We met his absence. His customer told us he packed his bag and left early this morning because of what happened between him and Sandra last night. And he didn't tell you where he went to? No, sir. It's just that he was aware he traveled outside the country according to the instructions given to him. <laughs> so, this is true. Sir, there are some first men at the gate now from the state headquarters. They said you sent for them. Uh, yes. Uh, tell them to go back to the station. I will speak to their boss on phone. All right. No. Oh, man in ship Kevin. Kevin. Is the man beyond the man. Dad, 
I don't want you to take it hard on yourself, please. Don't worry, I'm fine. I know I've never wronged anyone. I've never wished anyone evil. If this is how God wants to pay me back, after all the good works I've done, both to his work and humanity, so be it. He is God. I cannot question him. Yes, he is God. And we cannot question him. Daddy, yes. please, I need you to do me a favor. What favor? Please, I want you to meet Obina. He really needs our help. Yes. I know it. I know it. You want to start from where Kevin stopped. That, that's not true. He's different. He's a very nice young man, please. It's alright. I'm coming. Thank you, Dad. Thank you so much. Thank you. Young man, who are you? Thank you, sir. My name is Obina. I am from Umoke community. Umoke. Which village in Umoke? Umoakeka. Umoakeka. Who is your father? Uh, my... My grandfather is Mazu. I said your father. Sir, I... I don't know my father, but I only grew up meeting my grandfather, Mazugu. 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 Um, I had one beautiful girl in Mwakika that I wanted to marry, but my parents rejected her. Her father's name was Mazugu, and her name was um, uh, Adana. That's my mother's name. Your mother? Yes. Ikena, when are we seeing your parents so I can take you to my father? I'm no longer comfortable with this hide and seek affair. Again, I promised my father that I will not have anything to do with any man except the man that will marry me. Then I've made up my mind to marry you. Again, you said your parents have to give their consent first. Yes. Then when? When are we seeing them? You have to be fast be before this thing becomes noticeable. Which thing? Nothing. Just take me to your parents. So that you come and see my father. <laughs> oh, my love is looking so sweet today. Uh, <laughs> wow, turn around. <laughs> Thank you. To make sure I impress your parents. Oh, yes. With what I'm seeing now, I'm sure. I'm sure they will like you. Are you serious? Yeah. Like this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Come here. Okay, get into the car and let's start going. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Dad. Meet my girl, Ada. Ada, meet my parents. Wow. Well, you did that. You're welcome, you my daughter. Ikenna, 
Yes, mom. What is the meaning of this? Ah, oh, mom. So, of all the girls in the world, this is what you choose to marry. I'm sorry, she is too short to my liking. I don't like her. She's too short. She's a beautiful young girl. What beauty are you talking about? I see her as a beautiful girl. My son cannot marry her. Oh, you want her to start giving birth to dwarfs? For me, as grandchildren. Huh? I'm sorry, it will not work. You are not her god. No. Ada, Ada, please come back. Ada, 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 Ada. You cannot come back here. I have never been humiliated like this all my life. Never. I never. Ada, I'm sorry. I didn't know that my mother would detest you. I'm so sorry. Ikena. You want to leave me because you have your mother? Ikena, Ikena, no. I'm sorry. Ikena. You have to choose between your mother and I. Don't leave me. Ikena. What are you doing there? Go inside. Oh, Ikena, don't leave me, please. Ikena. I'm talking to you, son. <laughs> I can I can I I can Could it be the same, Adana? I never knew, knew she, she was pregnant. She never told me. Wait, 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 wait. What is going on here? I mean, what is happening? Young man, you must take me to your grandfather right away. I need to confirm something. did you commit? What are you doing with Chipikena? I want to tell you one of whom Hey! Nana, is Papa around? Chief wants to see him. He must be at Uncle Weke's place. Yes. Let me go. Let me go and call him. Okay, thank you. Obinna, I hope all is well. Oh. I told him, I said, look, <laughs> I like what you're saying, but I will not do Papa, it as you said. Papa, 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 you have to come to the house now. Any problem? Obina came in with Shifike. I want you to to her compound. 
and he said Chifike wants to see you now. Mm. I hope there is no problem. I wouldn't know. You see, you won't allow me to enjoy this palm wine, eh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll keep your wine for you. Mm -hmm. It's in this place, I'll keep it for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that we have eaten the cola nut, I'll once again say welcome to my house. And uh, it's time for you to tell me what brought you here. Uh, yes. Uh, your uh, grandson, Obina, here, uh, accidentally came into my house uh, with my daughter, Sandra. And then, uh, in the process of my interview with him, he mentioned Adana, and uh, her father's name was Mazugu. And um, it struck my mind that I had a very beautiful girl that I intended to marry, whose father's name was Mazugu. I'm from the same Mwakika. I, I, I then decided that uh, I should come with him to know if it's the same Adana, or a mere coincidence. That is why I am here. Well, um, <clears throat> there's only one way we can establish whether my own Adana is the Adana you are referring to. Um, if you see her photograph, you can at least identify her. Uh, uh, sure. Obina. Papa. Go to the room, under my pillow. Get me Adana's photograph. Okay, 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 Papa. Is this your daughter? Yes, it's my daughter. I have a very pretty daughter. Thank you. Are you married yet? No, It is, Papa. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the person you're referring to. Yes. Exactly the same clothes she wore the very last day I saw her. The day I, I introduced her to my parents. Oh my God. Uh, I should keep it. Mm -mm. It's not yours yet. Yeah, don't be in such a hurry. Um, today is a special day in my family. It is special because Adana promised she was going to surprise me before she passed on. And today I have experienced that surprise. So I am happy that wherever she is now, she will rest in the assurance that the surprise she promised me, she has fulfilled it. So you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I can't believe this. Oh my God. I'm speechless. Wait, 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 wait. That Yanni actually looks like you. He's my son. Come. Come. He's my son. Oh my God. I didn't know I still have a son of my own blood. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. My son. My 
so. Um, I, I am sorry for any mistakes I must have made in the past. I am very sorry. Uh, I will come with my, my, my people to come and perform all the traditional rites for the marriage. I mean, the mother's marriage. And uh, I will do that very soon. I will do it. Thank you. Um, meanwhile, I want to go with him. It's my song. Um, no, I think you are in a terrible hurry. You may be his biological father, but traditionally he's not your son yet. Until those customary rites are performed by you. Meanwhile, he stays with me. Hmm? Um, let me just add that the ball is in your court. Whenever you decide you will come, you just let us know. So we'll be prepared for you. Hmm? It's all right. I will do that. It's all right. And I will do it very, very soon. Um, uh, but please, uh, can I give him money, uh, some money for his upkeep? You are free to give him anything you like. Okay. Uh, Sandra, give me 50,000 naira there. And it's yours. It's yours. Papa, I, I, I want to share this money with my brothers and sister. That's very thoughtful of you. That's magnanimous. Ngozi. It's for all of us, the five of us, who we'll get 10,000 Naira each. Please go share it. But first, give Mama her own 10,000 and share the rest. Oh my God, that'd be nice, that'd be a bastard. <laughs> going out for a party tonight. What party is that? A billionaire is celebrating his son's return. And his son got missing in abroad some years ago. And the guy came back. So the man is celebrating the son's return. And you are just telling me this? No, I don't say the story now, my friend. She's like a, who was working with the man told me this night. So that's why we are going for the party. And let me shock you, all the big musicians you know, 
we parade in that party. I beg, go prepare, go prepare. Make me say, go prepare. Why did the party start tonight? <laughs> And they come. Be first. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the happiest day of my life. After the death of my wife, my son, and my adopted son, I almost came to the conclusion that God created me to die without a son. It did not occur to me that the mistake I made 26 years ago resulted to a son who has been stigmatized, labeled an outcast, called a bastard, humiliated and dejected. I thank God in his infinite mercy who has brought father and son together miraculously. I have corrected that mistake of the past, having gone to pay the bride price of his late mother. Ladies and gentlemen, I call on you to join me to welcome my son, the heir apparent to all that belongs to me, Mr. Obina Johnson. Very much. You may now sit. Um, good evening, everyone. It's my pleasure to be here today, and I wish to say thank you. I'm really grateful for all of you who have um, gathered here to celebrate me today. I, I really do appreciate this. Everything is still like a dream to me. Yet I do not understand what's going on, but I, I give God the glory for making this a possibility that today I will eventually see my father. Thank you so much and um, I wish to state that I owe someone a very huge appreciation, someone who has stood by me through thick and thin, someone who has um, shown immense support to me even when every other person deserted me. I cannot fail to show appreciation. Daddy, please, let me do this. Go ahead. Thank you, Dad. Nina, you have been a great friend. You have been a great source of strength. You have been a pillar of support. You have been everything. You've been a wonderful human being to me. And I wish to appreciate and say, I'm really grateful for everything you have done. I thank you so much and I plead to make this very one request from you and hope that you grant it. Please marry me. You will. Thank you.
Oh, I'm more